pastelón de plátano maduro. Cousin, does this really need an introduction? This recipe is part of my holidays cookbook, 20 traditional Dominican recipes for your holiday gatherings. Let me show you how I make mine. I'm going to be using six sweet plantains with extra black speckles to guarantee extra sweetness. I peel my plantains and cut them into three pieces each. And then in a pot going with abundant water, I'm going to add my plantains into the pot. Right before it breaks into a boil, I'm going to add in one cup of sugar along with two tablespoons of honey and I'm going to let this boil for 12 minutes. At the end of those 12 minutes, I'm going to drain the pot and I'm going to allow my plantain to harden because when it's time to assemble the pastelon, I like a sturdy pastelon. So allow this to cool for 15 minutes so that the plantain can harden. Once the plantains have cooled, I'm going to add them right back into the same pot that I boiled them in. This is where we're going to make the mash and right before we start, I'm going to pre heat my oven to 375 degrees so we have a warm oven when it's time to get cooking back to the pot i added in three tablespoons of butter along with one tablespoon of garlic powder yes season your mash and using a hand mixer i am going to break down my plantains to make the platano maduro mash for the pastelon you can use a fork or a masher whatever you have on hand i like to use the hand mixer it guarantees a fluffy mash and it cuts time in half now the pan I'm using, I'm making a smaller pastelon. The one in my book is a lot larger than this. I'm going to add half of the mash to my sprayed pan and I'm going to spread it evenly across the bottom. Next for the filling, I'm using ground beef. I have this recipe right up on my page. Just give it a search. And I also have a shredded chicken recipe. So if you prefer your pastelon with shredded chicken or your lasagna with shredded chicken, I also have that recipe up in my page. So I'm going to spread the meat evenly. This is the middle layer and then I'm going to follow up with one full bag of shredded cheese whatever your favorite shredded cheese is whether it's mozzarella or gouda spread it evenly now for the final layer we're going to top it off with the remaining platano maduro mash for the top layer i find it easier to add the platano maduro in all corners so one clump on each corner because it makes it easier to spread since this is now being spread over cheese and meat sometimes the bottom layers tend to move around so shifting the pan around also helps cover the entire surface surface next i'm going to top off that final layer with another full bag of shredded cheese again whatever your preference is and i'm going to clean the edges this is going to go in the oven uncovered for 35 minutes at 375 degrees into your preheated oven don't forget to set a timer when our time is up i'm gonna turn off the oven and i'm going wow look at that pastelon and look at those edges i am going to let this cool for 30 minutes i'm lying i was impatient i let this cool for about 15 minutes before cutting into it were you surprised when you saw me adding sugar and honey to the water when i was boiling the plantains that is a trick of the trade and this is my pastelon de platano maduros the recipe in my cookbook is for 12 to 15 people this one served eight i hope you enjoyed this recipe cousin see you again next time